Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today's topic is a little bit different because I woke up today the same as every single day. I wake up at 5, I do a workout, I stretch myself, then I meditate and then I create a nice green tea. I love green tea and after that I take one hour for reading a book and I love reading. I truly love reading. So I started reading today a book by Oprah Winfrey. The name of this book is What I Know For Sure. So here and there I like to change what I read and this one is truly amazing. That book is truly awesome. Like it goes back into the basic stuff which we are forgetting, you know, living in the moment and all the stories that she's sharing from her life, how everything unfolded. Even when the days are, you know, some days are a little bit harder, some days are, are how we describe them as everything is falling apart. But at the end we find out that actually everything was exactly as it's supposed to be, as it should be. So there was a question in that book which truly touched me deeply and this question goes like if your life ended tomorrow what would you regret not doing? The reason why this question for me is so powerful is because not often we truly dig deeper into knowing what we truly want to do, what truly inspires us all our inner gifts that we have, we are not asking ourselves deeply enough how to share them, how to shine our light, how to be brighter so we can enlighten the world around us. You know, how to bring your uniqueness to the world. Because you know how often I receive messages, for example, Thank you so much for sharing your words. I would share as well, but I'm not so brave enough. I'm not brave enough or, you know, I'm, I'm still scared of sharing my voice or whatever it is. That's fear. Don't let your fear blind you. Don't let your fear guide you. Don't let your fear control your decisions, my friends. Never let your fear control your decisions. Maybe the first thing that you will do with your unique voice will not be the best possible, but it will be the best possible for yourself. It will not be perfect, but it will be perfect for yourself. Because every time we try something new, we can try it to the best of our abilities. And it doesn't mean that it should be completely perfect. It just means that we need to try it and try it again and try it again and try it again and enjoy that process. You know, my first paintings were not so good. And I've made a lot of paintings which I would throw away. I still have them at the previous place that we were living in. Because I'm proud of them. Because of those paintings. I've developed my style, I've came across greater understanding how to mix colors, how to express my visions through the use of the brush and colors and put it onto the surface of canvas. And also when the painting is created, nobody will see it if we will not figure out how to show it to the world. So I've created a platform where people can see my art and it's all a process which will not happen in one day. We need to be consistent at that process. If I would not do it, I would most definitely regret not doing that because I know that's my gift. I know those are my talents. I know that's my unique light that I can bring to the world. There's a lot of fear out there, a lot of anger, a lot of people are walking blindly through life. And I'm sure that our unique light can wake them up. At least one person. We never know how far 
our light can shine. So, I want to encourage you today. Truly dig deeper into that question and ask yourself what you're still holding on which is pulling you down. Which is actually blocking you, that you are not thriving, that you are not enjoying your life to its full potentials. Just because you're fearful about certain decision and you're rather following the fear than your heart. Think about that. Because we all are experiencing that. It's not like, it's not the case that some people are easier to go through fear than others. It's actually an amazing book because she's talking a lot about fear. She's talking a lot about how she was afraid. And you know her. She's a really well-known person. She did interviews with the most well-known people in the world. And when we're thinking about that, we would say, well, probably she, she is not so afraid than I am. I would do the same, but my fear is too strong. I would do the similar things, but you know, my parents are not supporting me, my environment is not supporting me, and all those different things. But the truth is that at some point we need to figure out is our life's mission or our dream or our vision of the future more important than our fears? And overcoming fear is again like a muscle. Whatever we are practicing, we become it. Whatever you do, you are practicing. So if you are constantly following your fears, you are practicing to be a fear follower. <laughs> so if you are constantly practicing overcoming your fears, you are becoming a non-fearful person. You can say, well, I sense fear, but I don't let it distract me. I rather follow my heart and I let it guide me. So it's all a practice, my friends. And I'm sharing this with you passionately because I'm overcoming my fears every single day as well. You know, I was a shy person in my past. And I would be afraid of sharing that. You can go and watch my first videos here and you will see that I was a completely different person. But I, I didn't give up. Gave up. Because I believe in my vision. I truly believe in my vis vision. And through the time it will change and I will change and I will do different things maybe. But I know what I want to do. I know what I want to bring to the world. I know my light and I want to encourage you to know your light, to know yourself. As on these they are saying know thyself, which means to know everything about yourself. And if you want to know everything about yourself, you need to forget everything, everything about yourself so you can be enlightened by the universe. So what it means to forget everything about ourselves? It means that we all hold stories about ourselves within us. The stories were made by our parents, by our teachers, by our friends, by our environment, by our history. At least history that we think is real. The stories that we hold about the universe, how life works, God, or whatever, and we believe the stories and our actions and behaviors and habits are always equal to the stories that we are telling to ourselves. And the word know thyself actually means to forget all of the stories so you can be enlightened by the universe, that's where you will know yourself. It can happen through consistent meditation. It can happen to, through consistent work on your inner self. It can happen through consistent overcoming of fear. It can happen through expression of your unique wise. The truth is that that knowing is within you. 
nobody else can give you that i can i can talk about what i think that the the truth is what i think that the life is all about but it's still just my truth it can inspire you it can uplift you it can maybe help to guide you to find your truth to find your unique voice but once you will find it maybe you will explain it a little bit differently but more different explanations of one and the same things we bring to the world more possibilities people will find or more guidance they will find to find their truth and at the end we all see that the truth is one and the same the true self the love the truth however we want to explain it it's one and the same and when people find it for themselves we all find out that we are all one and the same having different experiences experiencing life as each individual experiences it in his or her unique way but deep inside we are all coming from one source which is giving life to each individual so we can experience life so every individual can experience life in its unique way so we can all create our unique stories and then we can share our unique stories with others so everyone can get that sense of how amazing life can be how unique life can be if we can just learn to actually live our lives not the lives of others not trying to be as somebody else i'm not saying be like me or and do art because i'm doing it i'm saying do art because through art maybe you can learn more about yourself but i'm not forcing you do art because that's the only way to finding yourself do whatever feels best for you go dance go out into the nature you know whatever feels right for you so this question truly touched me deeply and i hope it can help you to understand more about yourself truly answer it today so this is it for today my friends i hope you've enjoyed today's painting more about my art you can find on my instagram i draw my passion thank you all so much for your beautiful support i love you all my friends and have a beautiful day i'm sending you all love blessings and power walk with bravery my friends open your heart be kind you know be kind towards others smile to random strangers say a beautiful hello and open up open up to yourself so you can open up to the world so your unique light can shine to others this is it my friends one love <laughs>